this video, you'll learn how to use Horizon 7 Administrator to configure a simple cloud pod architecture environment. Setting up a simple cloud pod architecture environment involves three basic steps. Initialize the cloud pod architecture feature, join pods to the pod federation, and create and configure global entitlements. To initialize the cloud pod architecture feature, log in to the Horizon 7 Administrator user interface for any connection server instance in the first pod. You need to initialize the cloud pod architecture feature only once on the first pod in a pod federation. Select View Configuration, Cloud Pod Architecture, and click Initialize the Cloud Pod Architecture feature. Click OK to begin the initialization process. The initialization process can take several minutes. Click OK to refresh the user interface. After the user interface is refreshed, Search Sessions appears under Inventory, Global Entitlements appears under Catalog, and Sites appears under View Configuration. To change the default site name, select View Configuration Sites, select the site, click Edit, and type a new name, and click OK. After the Cloud Pod architecture feature is initialized, the Pod Federation consists of a single pod. To join another pod to the Pod Federation, log into the Horizon 7 Administrator user interface for a connection server instance in the pod that you want to join, select View Configuration, Cloud Pod Architecture, and click Join the Pod Federation. Type the host name or IP address of any connection server instance in any pod that has been initialized or is already joined to the Pod Federation. Make sure the connection server instance has a different host name. You can't join servers that have the same name, even if they are in different domains. Type the name and password of an administrator on the already initialized pod. The new pod requires credentials for the already initialized pod so that it can contact that pod and obtain permissions to join the Pod Federation. Click OK to join the pod to the Pod Federation. Horizon 7 Administrator shows the progress of the join operation. Finally, click OK to refresh the user interface. You can repeat these steps to join additional pods to the Pod Federation. The last step is to create and configure at least one global entitlement. You can create a global entitlement from the Horizon 7 Administrator interface for any connection server instance in the Pod Federation. To create a global entitlement, select Catalog, Global Entitlements, and click Add. Select the type of global entitlement to add and click Next. In this example, we're creating a global desktop entitlement. Type a name for the global desktop entitlement. If you want to restrict access to the global entitlement from the connection server instances that have certain tags, click Browse and select the tags. If you want to create a Windows Start Menu shortcut for the Global Entitlement, click Browse and select a Category folder. Specify whether the Global Desktop Entitlement will contain floating or dedicated desktop pools. Select a Scope Policy to tell Horizon 7 where to look for desktops in the Pod Federation. Select the Home Site Policy if the entitled users have home sites. Select whether to clean up redundant sessions. Select the default display protocol and specify whether to allow entitled users to override the default protocol. Select whether to allow entitled users to reset and restart their desktops. Select whether to allow users to use the HTML access feature to connect to desktops. Select whether to allow entitled users to start separate desktop sessions from different client devices. If you want to restrict access to the global entitlement to specific client computers, Enable the Client Restrictions policy. Click Next and then click Add to add users and groups to the global entitlement. You cannot add unauthenticated access users to a global desktop entitlement. Type Search Criteria and click Find to filter Active Directory users and groups. Select the Active Directory users or groups to add to the global entitlement and click OK. Finally, click Next review the configuration, and click Finish. 
the new global entitlement appears on the global entitlements page. The next step is to configure the desktop or application pools for the users in the global entitlement that you've created. Log into the Horizon 7 Administrator user interface for a connection server instance on the pod that contains the pool you want to add to the global entitlement. Select Catalog, Global Entitlements, and double click the global entitlement. Go to the Local Pools tab and click Add. Next, select the local pools to add. In this example, we're adding a desktop pool because the global entitlement is a desktop global entitlement. Local pools that are already associated with the global entitlement or that do not meet the criteria for the policies you selected for the global entitlement are not displayed. Select the local pool to add and click Add. You can repeat this step on the connection server instances in different pods to add pools that reside on different pods to the global entitlement. When an entitled user uses Horizon Client to connect to a connection server instance in the pod federation, the global entitlement name appears in the list of available desktops and applications. For more information about the Cloud Pod architecture feature in Horizon 7, visit docs.vmware.com. Thank you.